My Bible tells me the stone that was rejected has become the capstone. Just as he was the foundation stone on which everything was laid and measured, so he will be the first and the last stone in the building. And it's the moment of his coronation. By this time now, every enemy has been put under his feet. And all the world will be watching. The world that has despised and rejected him. The Jews that have not understood he is their Messiah. The angelic beings, the demons of hell, they'll all be there that day. And as the Lord is brought out, the lowly man of Calvary, the sufferer, the Savior, as he's brought out, he's going to ascend the steps to his own throne. He's been sitting on his father's throne all these years. But when every enemy is put down, he will ascend the steps to his own throne. And this is what we read. As he takes the highest place, as the rejected stone finally is put into his place, holding the whole thing together. And at that moment, God the Father, my father would say, if it was me, that's my boy. But God is going to say, that's my son. At the name of Jesus, with a mighty rustle, every knee will bow. Muhammad will get down on both his knees. And the Buddha and Confucius and Baha'u'llah and the Pope and the devil of hell every knee I'll get down I'll be happy to get down every knee will bow and for one moment in all of history every God conscious creature will fulfill the purpose for which God made them they were made for the glory of God